right, guys, let's welcome the great Scrooge Ward and Lindsay. Is it Manfredi? Manfredi? Where are we at? Manfredi. Manfredi, the great, the two greats on the show today. All right, so Scooter, as uh, as I think we you've been on the show before, and we talked about this great uh, uh, Limp Biscuit Cold show that we played twenty four years ago Tuesday. Yeah. Which is even funnier is the producer of our show. That was not only his birthday; that was the day he was born. So. Wow. <laughs> so so the producer of our show was born on the day that you and I shared a stage together twenty four oh, years awesome, ago. Man. So how are yeah, you guys I, uh, enjoying getting out on the road? I know last night had to be rescheduled, but I mean it's it's all it's it's uh it's a uh, full steam ahead from here on out, right? Yeah, there's so much. You know, we knew things were going to happen and weird things were going to go down. So um, I don't know. Hope, luckily, maybe hopefully it happened at the beginning of the tour, the first week, and we right. won't have any more problems throughout everything. Um, but yeah, it feels good to be back out, man. It's been a long time, you know, and. Uh, first show so we're all nervous as hell and <laughs> right. we want to see cold army and just spend time but it's hard to do that when everything's going on so we're going to try to figure out how to do this right now <laughs> <laughs> everything is on the fly at least there's been a few tours out that that kind of give you a little bit of groundwork and and can show yeah. you a little bit of how things happen but uh, yep. i mean you guys are out for three months man so that's that's pretty ambitious uh in a time like this i know but um, <laughs> we're an ambitious band. Man. So, there you go. Very <laughs> ambitious. Uh, Lindsay, how is it? You know, I, I know you've been in the band for a while, but I mean, you know, you were you've been a cold fan your entire life. And uh, just kind of tell me a little bit about being in the band uh, after being a fan for so many years. Well, it's great. I feel uh, I feel like I'm at home. Um, I love these guys. They're amazing. And I feel honored and blessed to be able to do this. So I don't know. I like to. You know, I love being on the road. Here we are. <laughs> uh, kid, the rest of the band is standing behind the computer, like. <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed someone the other day, and their bandmates were crawling behind them to get from like one side of the hotel room to the other without yeah, being on camera. So. Nick was on the other side trying to make the slap a second ago, which is against all the rules. Yeah, man, there's no laughing on the show, man. It's 100% no serious. In. No yeah. laughing in in metal. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> So obviously with the big pandemic, um, you know, you guys didn't really get to fully promote uh, the great, the things we can't stop. So, you know, now getting out and being able to play those songs, getting out to the fans, things like that. How is that for you, Scooter? I mean, you know, it, it was a shame that that happened. We, we hadn't put out a record in a long time and we finally get ready and we right. get everything all lined up. And it was supposed to be two years basically of straight touring. We're going to do Europe. Everything was set up and then boom. So, yeah, it was a hit, man. Um, I don't think any of us really knew what to do at first. We were just like, what are we going to do? Like, what's going to happen with cold? And are we going to be able to maintain a life to continue this one day? How long is it going to last? Um, but like with all bands, man, we figured it out. And, you know, thankfully I was able to do lyrics. Lindsay did candles and stuff. And uh, the band did things, you know, to keep them alive. And... But, you know, I'm glad it's kind of over and we're back on a tour bus. Like, it was it was wild getting back on it the other day. It felt like home again. And uh, I don't know, there's just a comfort. Like, I think I sleep better on the bus than I do at home. Oh, yeah. And that's not anything against being at home. It's just something about the movement of the bus. Um, oh, so yeah. I'm going to relax again. And with touring, everything's kind of, uh, you know, it's just set schedule. There's the same thing to do every day. It's not as scattered as it, you know, normal life could be. <laughs> Except for today, when you've got to deal with me and meet and greet and uh, you know sound check and yeah. first day of the tour, so so yeah. Um, Lindsay, you wrote the book uh, "Unfuck Withable." That's a, an amazing title for a book, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's basically a life one hundred and one book. It's about the law of attraction, and I just take all of these ideas that are not new to anyone, and I just tell my story with it, and you know, being a part of cold and how that influenced everything and how attitude is everything in life attitude and a little bit of ambition i guess but yeah it's doing really well i'm selling them on tour oh nice uh, i have them here signing copies for fans so, how are you guys handling uh meet and greets how are you guys going to handle that with the you know you know, thought, you know kiss, kiss did it behind plexiglass so you I mean what do you yeah guys? i mean it's, it's wild <laughs> we're, we're, we're all vaccinated and we're we're using the kind of trying at first we were like 
I mean, right now, we're kind of just going state by state and doing what the regulations that they put in place, kind of just following that. Um, however, on tour, you know, we, we might not be able to do what we did with fans before because that's our family, you know. We've known them forever, and they're a part of us. So normally we can go out and hang out with them after the show and things like that. I don't know if we can do that on this tour, you know, and that's horrible. Um, yeah. So that and you know even with the other bands on tour like we have to all create our separate bubbles to keep ourselves safe and um that's all we're trying to do you know so because if one person gets sick i don't know and granted you know we've had this before where a flu happens and stuff like that but we just want to be safe man we want to make sure I, I don't know about this i don't know how bad it could impact us if, if somebody gets it you know it's scary being off for so long during the pandemic i mean does obviously being back on the bus i mean are you are you a little bit more appreciative of it today you know or are you are you a little bit more kid in the candy store today being out on the road again i always feel like that <laughs> i think throughout my but even for 22 years i every time i get on a bus i feel like a kid in the candy store and i always had that same emotion i was just telling the, the one of the, uh, the guys from i think divide the fall I was, you know, I was like, I'm really nervous tonight. And they were like, yeah, well, I was like, man, even after all these years, I still get a little sick before we play a show. And um, it's an emotional thing for me. So I feel like when that, if the one day that that doesn't happen, then maybe I don't need to get up on that stage. Again. Well, I will, I will uh, let you go. We'll, we'll go ahead and start wrapping this up. I know you guys got a ton of stuff to do today. One more question for you, Scooter. How how insanely crazy was it for you to see Fred Durst as an old man getting all that pub for being an old man Fred after all these Honestly, years? Honestly, I you know <laughs> we grew up with all those guys, so yeah. um, and you know touring back in the day and everything that we they used to make all these videos backstage. They would do uh, little movies, short film kind of things where there was plenty wigs of plenty yeah. and things going in disguises. So. I, when I saw it, I was just like, I get it, man. But, dude, it was, it was awesome to see him. Actually, that the funny thing about that is we started, uh, we FaceTimed a little after that because oh, I just, nice. I wanted to hear about how was the thing went when they did the pop-up Love Biscuit show. I was just trying to get some info before we came out on tour. Um, so it was nice to spend an hour with them and, and, you know, reconnect, man, because we had definitely kept in touch through, like, text and, like, social media. But, to, you know, get back and, and see him and maybe make some plans for some cool stuff next year. It's very cool.